Hey guys, I hope you had a good fourth. Deep fried gator. Uh, I spent the fourth with family, which was really awesome. I didn't have to work. Thanks, Matt. I basically just cried through the whole um, presentation that Trump gave in DC. Like, I just watched it on the TV and freaking cried. It was awesome. I wish I could have been there. Uh, I think I will definitely try to be there next year because that was incredible. Man, can that guy put on a show. I'm Christiana, you're awesome. Let's flutter our flags. So those of you that follow me on Instagram saw that I went to DC recently um, for a conference called Road to Majority that's presented, presented, held, put together, done, done by, done bar, the Faith and Freedom Coalition. I wanted to share my experience with you guys because I had never heard of this before. I've never heard of the event, Road to Majority. Apparently it's a thing. Never heard of the Faith and Freedom Coalition. Apparently it's a thing. Is it just me? It usually is. Usually just me. So I went and it was amazing, incredible, inspiring. I cried a bunch, so I just wanted to tell you guys about it really quick. I thought that'd be fun because if you've never heard of it, maybe you want to go next year. I am definitely going to make a point to go next year. I think it's important. It's great meeting new people. Great hearing the speakers. Oh my goodness. Just overall fantastic trip. Love DC. They put unbelievable time and effort into every single part of this convention. It is so well done. You would not believe what an incredible experience this actually is. Leaders, speakers, advocates, authors, uh, senators, just coming all together to inspire and encourage, you know, us, the next generation, people that are rising up and taking their place in the world and trying to do something for the benefit of our fellow citizens. I mean, these people just poured out their heart and soul into every person that was part of this event. So it started off on a Wednesday morning with President Donald J. Trump and I missed him. And after driving 13 hours to get there, I was extremely disappointed. We got there on time, which is always late, and the doors were already shut. They just couldn't hold the amount of people that wanted to see him. Talked to people later and they said there was just hundreds and hundreds of people just down the street that never got in. I mean, they just, the venue wasn't big enough major disappointment so then we just kind of went around the city and saw stuff like the White House because you can just go see that it's not something in a movie it's a real place that you can walk up to it's crazy so Thursday starts off with a luncheon and while we ate we got to hear from Senator uh, David Perdue from Georgia Awesome. Senator Marco Rubio of Florida. That's our dude. Uh, Senator Rand Paul from KY, who was awesome. That guy was awesome. I never heard him speak before. Senator Ted Cruz from Texas. Oh my gosh, Ted Cruz. I was flipping out. So Ralph Reed is the founder and the chairman of Faith and Freedom Coalition, and he was there in and out the entire time he would speak in between the other people and kind of let us know what was going on. He is sweet as pecan pie. I mean, this guy is just like, he's just like the sweetest guy in the whole world. He's so great. So after lunch, they threw us in some buses and sent us down to Capitol Hill Town Hall where we got to hear a bunch of other senators speak. Senator Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee senator james lankford of oklahoma let me just tell you something about a man's man let me just tell you something about a man that loves the lord oh my gosh this guy was so awesome i could listen to him talk forever his talk was so amazing and spirit-filled and full of truth he is awesome Senator Josh Howley from Missouri, and Mitch McConnell, a Senate Majority Leader. I wish Mitch McConnell was my grandfather. That guy packs a punch. Oh my goodness, he's just doing the most. I loved hearing him talk. I wish I could hear way more about him. He's just 
what what a man i'm telling you these men that are in the senate right now are so amazing all of the men that we got to hear from and women are just beyond fantastic definitely people that you want to follow and get to know they're awesome how many times is it appropriate to tear up in one session i just every time one of them would speak i would tear it was so moving they're so passionate about what they're doing they just love this country and most of them love the lord and it's just it's unbelievable how full of fire these guys are for truth and justice it's just amazing amazing to be around these guys are fighting for us on a daily basis the most we can do is pray for them especially for them to have favor in the senate we need to pray we should be praying for these guys every day because they are really going to bat for the entire country i mean it's unbelievable what these guys are doing so friday ben carson i love ben carson i saw ben carson for the first time uh at the sunshine summit was that like a year ago i don't know who said tennis springer oh my god i wish he was my deeter i love dennis prager charlie kirk sorry for grabbing you that was a mistake well after a bunch of people spoke they had some breakout sessions different engaging topics i actually missed them because i ended up talking to some awesome ladies and it just seemed way more important so it was worth it to me to miss some of the sessions to have some good conversation with these ladies that were from different states than me so that night we went to the museum of the bible and they have this whole room set up for movies it was weird it was the biggest thing you've ever seen and you're it was a whole wall it was crazy and we got to see a private screening of no safe spaces which features Dennis Prager it's just it's so good it's such a good film oh my god so no safe spaces is with Dennis Prager and Adam Carolla and it's so well done it's a documentary and it's awesome and I think they actually crowdfunded to get this movie produced so a Saturday Joy Villa hashtag Joy Tribe <laughs> just walking around just walking around. oh hey Joy Villa what's up she's the sweetest woman in the whole world like she'll just walk up and be like hey how's it going like she's <laughs> it's weird like you almost want to say um hi Joy like I don't want to bother you but like did you forget your she just doesn't act like it. She's just so nice. She's so nice. She just exudes joy. I mean, she really is her name. She's just the most lovely individual of all time. She's just walking around in her crazy outfits, just being so sweet. Oh my goodness. She had an amazing pro-life story that I had never heard before. Crying, weeping, mm, so moving. Amanda Owens, the founder of Future Female Leaders. Oh my gosh, what? a bad a what a woman her story is so crazy she like starts out doing like a like an incognito fake like fake name twitter account so no one would know who she was because she didn't want to get beat up by by uh by liberals oh my gosh she's just such a cool lady and you definitely definitely look up future female leaders they have an awesome online shop that like supports everything they do their clothes are awesome i definitely have to buy one of everything now they're so cool all the girls that came with her so sweet oh my god most of these people that weren't you know obviously the clickbait i hadn't heard of alex brinson is an author and he actually wrote this book tell your children and it's all about the dangers of marijuana use not in like a reefer madness kind of way. Weed actually causes psychosis. And I mean, I knew that because everybody that I know that smokes weed is... They're retarded. So he came and he is not, not a conservative. He never said he was a Trump supporter or anything. He's actually a liberal, like a classic liberal. An eye-opening report that reveals the link between extensive marijuana use and mental illness and a hidden epidemic of violence linked to the drug. <sighs> oh, 
riveting. Christiana, spread the word. Candace Owens, that girl is all smiles and sass. I feel like if you were her college roommate, you would either love her or want to murder her. Oh my gosh, is she just like... And then, oh man, is she spunky? I love that chick. Ferocious. She talked about Blexit and obviously all of, all of that good stuff. It was so good. It would kind of be impossible for me to break down everything that everybody said. It's, I know that's kind of lame. I guess you'll just have to go to see what I'm talking about. I did not do a good job of documenting this trip whatsoever. I was half starstruck, half exhausted, half starving. And I just did not do an adequate job of receiving or retaining information like I did my best but I, like the whole time I was like I'm in DC oh my god that's Troy Villa that's Charlie Kirk oh my god wait oh oh my god this is an extra season I was a mess like I had no idea what to do with myself I just kept drinking coffee and walking around in a blazer like I had no idea what I was doing like I was just like I don't know what I'm doing I don't know what I'm doing definitely do a better job next year so I'm sorry that I'm not able to give you a complete breakdown of what these people said. It was so awesome. I just want to kind of, you know, it's like a, it's the, uh, it's the cliff notes. <laughs> so, Candace came. She was very pretty. She was passionate. She was sassy. She loved. That was it. Speaking of Dinesh D'Souza, <laughs> love, love a good Indian man. You know what I'm saying? Dinesh D'Souza, Ravi Zacharias, the Indians, man. Okay. So Dinesh was there. He obviously gave a wonderful talk because that's all he ever does give superb talk i got his new book i bought it oh tell your children book i forgot the tell your children book smart approach to marijuana these people they paid for him to be able to give away these books at the event for free they sponsored it they paid for all of these so we could have them to like get the word out which i thought was just unbelievably cool dinesh i bought his book and worth it worth it because he signed it and I got to shake his hand and it was awesome and he was very cute and I grabbed him and you know because he's very cute we got a picture together and I grabbed his hand and yanked him for it and I look him in the eye and I'm like I'm gonna see you again he was like you're a very creepy little girl and I was like yeah you know it <laughs> he didn't say that uh, but that was the look on his face like why are you grabbing me? I kept grabbing people I don't <laughs> I don't know how to act around people that I admire. Hey, I'm on his feet. Oh my gosh. I'm on 10% We're never gonna make it. Oh my gosh. Okay, Dinesh is awesome uh, They did a panel with the directors of Unplanned Carrie Solomon and Chuck. Oh No, I'm gonna get me with the name Consulman Consulman Whatever his name is. They're amazing. They make really good movies about faith and stuff and important topics like abortion. They're amazing. Yeah, we have to support these things and these movies when they come out because holy cow, these guys are like changing the world. You don't think these these B movies about stuff are changing the world? They are. These guys are getting hundreds of calls a day from abortion workers that have seen this movie and want to get out of, out of the industry. That's unbelievable. They're going to do a showing in Pakistan. I think they said they're going to have a million people there. We're on 10%. It's amazing. I bawled like a baby. I just wept. I'm going to have to buy, buy DVD, buy Blu-ray, buy, buy it on something. I don't know. VHS. We don't do VHS. Oh my gosh. So I went to Alex uh, Benson's session. What did you say his name? Berenson? Alex Berenson? Book guy? Tell your children. I went to his session because I wanted to hear what he had to say because you know I want the book and everything. Because one, I like free stuff. Two, I like free stuff that's full of information that I love to talk about because the day before I was definitely telling the group of girls that I was gabbing with how weed is such a detrimental part of our society because it just ruins everything. These kids start smoking weed, they drop out of school, they start selling weed, it just freaking ruins their life, it makes them retarded. And I was saying that and they were like, I don't think you're allowed to say that. And then this guy comes out and he says it and he wrote a book and that means it's true. <laughs> Hillary Clinton wrote a book. Writing a book doesn't make it true. But I'm pretty sure that it's true and I can't wait to read it. So, oh, the first thing he says is it's uh, it done in every clinical trial that they've done 
with marijuana, it has performed so poorly and it never performs as well as the placebos on all of the things that weed claims that it helps you with, like um, being able to sleep, anxiety, pain, all of the stuff. They're like, yeah, marijuana is a medicine. This guy's like, marijuana is not what medicine. Well, this big guy jumps up. He's like, you're full of shit. And I got friends who got PTSD and weed is a medicine. And he's like, and also weed does not help PTSD. And this guy's like, fucking rock. And like the whole room's like, so what you're saying is, is you've been smoking some weed because you're acting pretty crazy. So the guy's like, so smoking weed makes you crazy. And this guy's like, no, it doesn't. So we're all looking at each other like, this guy's high. And yeah, deleted three apps. Quit telling me the story just we're short on time. Go team, go. Okay, so the at the end of the night, the end of um, Saturday, what were we on? Saturday? Friday? Saturday? Yeah, Saturday. The last night was the gala. It was, <laughs> I was, my dress was smoking. I was looking so good. Of course, nobody's going to see it because I don't take pictures. Anyways, I'm definitely not furious about that. Anyways, so um, William Bennett at this uh, gala, William Bennett, was presented with the Winston Churchill Lifetime Achievement Award. He is the author of like 20 or 30 books. And uh, his most famous one, probably, that you would know, is The Book of Virtues, which he published in 1993. We had that growing up. Every family that I knew had that book growing up. He did all this stuff. It was awesome. It was amazing. I'm just going to wrap up. Battery's dying. I have no storage. <laughs> Come on. Can't we just get some good quality stuff? Come on! This is Donald Trump in the White House. Who's gone to? We will make America more prosperous than ever before. We will make America safer than ever before. And to borrow a phrase, we will make America great again. Thank you. This is real, real life. I need a camera, I need a laptop. The iPad is just giving me fits. I never have enough storage for you guys. Anyways, uh, I love you, you're awesome. Follow me on Instagram. Uh, I think I might make a Twitter. I don't know who's to say, maybe I'll make a Twitter. You'll know. The last picture always shows everything. You guys are awesome. Like this video, or, come, come on, like this video. Like this video or slap. Slap a donkey's butt. The truth is that Charlie came out of, from, he wasn't in my line of vision. I was very focused on the person that's speaking. I'm standing in the back. And all of a sudden, he's just right in front of me. And my totally abnormal reaction is just grab him. And I just, get it! Get it! And he's like, get the frick off me, lady. Probably thought I was like Antifa or something. And I'm like, shut up! I'm kidding. It's funny. I'm sorry. I'll, I'll, I'll tweet at him on, on Twitter. I'll twat him. I'll tell him. I, I'm sorry for. I'm just. Uh, I'm sorry for grabbing you. Like I'm. It's a weird, a weird reaction. Like I mean, the guy's only 57 feet tall. Like I wasn't in his line of vision. I scared him. He jumped a little bit. I feel really bad. It's just the way that it is.